our energy back finally. It's like coming home almost, coming to Lotus to the factory here. And finally, after an early start, we've made it over and it's time to check out some cars. I've already been handed the keys to something pretty special. If you look right here, this is one of the main reasons why I was super excited to come over because as you know, I own a Lotus Exige Sport 380, which is what we drove up in. But since I've had that car, Lotus have come out with this absolutely stunning Cup 380. So the first thing I wanted to do when we got here, and Lotus have very kindly organized it, was to have a look around this car, see the differences, and uh, show you guys around it. So without further ado, I think it's about time we look around it. I'm, I'm allowed to start it up. I can't drive it. We can't take it around track or anything because they're all sold already. They're only making 60 of them. But I figured I might as well show you around the outside, show you around the inside, and uh, you can experience this car with me a tiny bit. But mainly, this car is uh, basically just a more hardcore uh, carbonized, shall we say. It's got loads of carbon all over the place version of my car, so it's much more track focused. Uh, limited to only 60, which is crazy. I mean, 60, when you, when you were talking about numbers of things like a 675LT McLaren, when you think about those being super rare, there's about, there's 500 of those. There's only 60 of these worldwide. Uh, unfortunately, they're all sold, so whether I want one or not, I don't really have much choice unless I go on the second hand market, and no idea what they'll do on the second hand market, but who knows. But let's show you around quickly. So first things first, from the front, it's not too dissimilar to my car. You've got the same carbon front splitter. You've got the same access panel here, full carbon fiber like you do in my car. They've only changed the striping. Um, so on mine, the stripe comes around here. Here they've changed it up. Here the main difference is, well, these louvers, which I think are absolutely awesome. This is my favorite touch on this car. You've got these awesome little air vents here, um, which filter the air through of the bodywork obviously and add more downforce there's way more downforce it's a tiny bit lighter than my car not massively um i think it's about dry weight about five kilos um but there's loads of little things so the engine mapping has been changed slightly it's based it's the same three and a half liter supercharged v6 um with the same amount of power you can get things like titanium exhaust and different things like that which uh make it a bit lighter um what else is different round front i mean you've got little things like here for example this is finished in matte black which uh, I don't have on mine. And then you have the option to put a tow hook as well, which is for when you're going on track. Also the color and the spec on this one is absolutely beautiful. You then got the same canards here. Um, these would actually be cool in carbon, but I'm sure there's a reason why they aren't. Um, we've then got around the side, the same carbon side skirts. Carbon roof, which is actually an option on the Sport 380. I remember if you could get that as an option, I chose to have mine painted. Um, then down here is one of my favorite touches, these which are slightly larger air vents on the side of the car finished in carbon fiber, which you cannot get um, on the Sport 380. This is a Cup 380 special only. Um, and these look awesome. They're, they're a tiny bit wider. So kind of like if you look at the old R8, you had the R8 V8 and then you had the R8 V10. You could tell it was the V10 because it had a wider little inlet on the side. Similar sort of difference here. It's a lot wider and it's finished in carbon. You then got your racing gear on the side here, which is pretty intense. Matte black little um, uh, sort of livery with the 380 Cup logo. And then this is the main, this is the main difference, this area here. One piece carbon fiber engine cover with the world's most intense wing. This thing is a beast. Um, it's, it's so cool, it's so big. We saw this, this car driving earlier, and following it from behind. It's just mad. Like the size of this wing is just colossal. And all of this is one piece of carbon fiber. This is the coolest new addition, I think, to the Cup 380 over the Sport 380. It is just insane and very light. It's also no longer got the hydraulic system. So when you put it up, it won't stay up by itself. You need to put the little hook in. Um, so obviously it's save weight as well. It's got a lighter battery. Um, and on this particular one, it's also got the titanium exhaust. So titanium exhaust is an option on the Sport 380. Um, but I assume more people will get it on the on the Cup 380. It saves about, I think, it, don't quote. I think it's about seven kilos. Um, but it saves a bunch of weight, changes the tone of the engine a bit, the, t the tone of the noise, but doesn't make it much louder. Uh, there's another tow hook option that you can put in there. And then on this particular car, uh, it's actually not on my car. It's carbon fiber, this rear diffuser, but that's just a cost option, which hasn't been specced on this specific car. It's then also got these air vents, which is one of my favorite touches as well, on the back, which look awesome. It's a really nice touch. And then obviously the logo. Um, it's slight differences on the inside as well, nothing crazy. If you hop around, I'll show you 
the interior. We've got the same seat as in my car, carbon fiber buckets. The only difference is the 380 cup uh, stitching on the on the seat here. But apart from that, it's all exactly the same. We got the carbon kick plates. Door panels are all the same. Biggest difference, you'll notice the steering wheel is completely different. That's because it's had an airbag delete. So for track usage, um, it saves weight first of all, but then also if you're going on track a bunch, you can put uh, harnesses on it and then uh, you don't necessarily need to have the airbag there. So that, that's why the steering wheel is different. The dashboard is a tiny bit different just in the way they've uh, put the numbers. Um, they've just changed that up a tiny bit. That's a geeky thing that I think only <laughs> owners of the Sport 380 would notice. Uh, one of my favorite things as well is they've done a full Alcantara dash. Um, so it's still plastic. Uh, well, actually, it's leather on this car, and oh, that's nice. On my car, it's plastic, but back here, it now feels like leather with the Alcantara above it. Because in my car, this is um, here, right here, it's all plastic feeling. So it's a nice touch to be able to have that in Alcantara. Uh, a few other little things, like for example, right here, it's all matte black, whereas in my car, it was uh, it's all aluminium. So little differences like that. You got a roll cage as well um, to stiffen it up a tiny bit. And apart from that, the main big difference, if we click, why don't you come around here? This is very cool. Now this is my favorite touch on the inside. This little knob right here, you can uh, decide on the angle of slip that you want to have. So you have 12 different settings and basically it's the percentage of slip that, you're, that the car will allow you to have. So you can adjust your trash control settings. So if you want to come out of a corner and have a little play, you can set it to that. If you want to come out and have a full massive slide, you can put it all the way off or on the maximum percentage of slip. And it's just cool to be able to, not many, if I've never really seen this on another car really, that, where you can really adjust your trash control to exactly how you want it. And there's a classic um, race car feel. I've also just been told that the exhaust says 10 kilos, not seven, so more than I thought. I'm gonna hop in. Start it up. Also, before you go around back to hear the noise, I want to show you one last thing which is different. Um, if I grab the camera, you have also down here, which you don't have in the Sport 380, you have a fire extinguisher. Uh, so the passenger has a bit less leg room, but it looks pretty badass. Anyways, to start the car, same thing. You got the key, whack it in, put it on the clutch. because the engine hasn't been properly warmed up but it sounds very similar doesn't yeah. it it's just a few more pops and bangs it sounds like there you go here yeah. there mine doesn't do that as much but apart from that it's very similar now this car 60 worldwide they were about 15,000 pounds more expensive than the sport 280 base prices um, so it is a big jump up money wise now obviously I would have loved, you know, it's, it's awesome this car, I would have loved to have been able to upgrade but it's a lot of money and then they're all sold out as well and also I think I don't do enough track time to justify a car like this, I think the people who would buy a car like this have much more experience than I do and go to the track a lot more. So, you know, I'm interested in seeing if you guys think that potentially I should upgrade my Sport 380 to this, uh, let me know in the comments down below and maybe there's a way I could work it out, uh, but it is very expensive and it is you know very very track focused but it is so cool they've done a bunch of really really nice little touches like the alcantara here or the carbon uh, vents on the side right there so they've done a really really good job with this car i'm happy for lotus i'm happy for all the people who will be lucky enough to own one of these cars and it just brings lotus into that next category in terms of performance and things like that so this car is fantastic now we are going to see some other cars uh, on this trip here. I think this video is going to be strictly down to the Sport 380 so there'll be more videos coming with some other new Lotuses and other Lotuses that I haven't filmed before. It's like I feel like I'm a kid in the candy shop. Mm -hmm. um, so I'm going to stop the engine and say bye to you guys. Thank you as per usual for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Please remember to like, comment down below what you thought of this car, whether I should, uh, should look into upgrading or just your general thoughts on this car. Please remember to subscribe as well. And yeah, cheers. Bye -bye. Hey we kept saying it, Saturday in the mouth. There's no Juliet.